mm-hmm. your uh, brother Brian, when you were seven years old, was uh, killed by a drunk driver, your half-brother uh, Chris, the night before you're set to perform at the Combine in front of the NFL scouts, is mm-hmm. uh, shot and killed in a homicide. Having gone through both of those experiences, how do you think it kind of shaped you um, mm-hmm. as a person? What did, what, what did you learn, to, you know, having gone through that? Um, you know, my brother Brian, you know, uh, that happened in, you know, at such a young age, and, you know, and seeing it happen, and it's been a, it's a memory that I'll, I'll never lose, you know, um, running up, putting my hands under his head, calling his name, you know, as he lay there, um, head swole like three times bigger than normal, um, and that's, that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, you know, but it made me strong, you know, it, it did. Well, why do you think it made you strong? Um, because I loved my brother so much, you know, it was just me and him, you know, we did everything together. You know, I looked up to him, he was super smart, a way better athlete than me. So, and we were, we was extremely fast for kids, like we was seven, eight, we were 15, 15 and 16 year old kids running. He used to burn off on me, he had so much potential. Um, so, you know, I heard he'd give you 20 yard head starts oh, yeah. around your North Dallas apartment yeah. complex I, and he'd still be. If he was like, my brother would definitely have gold medals. I know that. I, I know that. But it made, me, it made me strong because I had to be there for my mother during that time. You know, I remember being in the other room and just hearing my mother cry all night, all day. Um, for a year, it seemed like my mom cried every night, every night. And it was times I had to just hold my tears in at the age of seven. Um, and go in and comfort her, you know, hug her, kiss her, it's gonna be okay. You know, just be strong for her, be that, try to be that rock for her. Uh, and I think going through that, you know, it made me strong. I'm seven years old and this is what I have to deal with. This is the role that I have to play. Right. You know, but, um, but through the years, I was able to come to peace with it, man. You know, I was like, my brother, you know, he's in a better place. He's in a place that I wanna get to one day. You know, I know he got his tickets punched there. His ticket is there, he's there. And he was eight years old, you know, he, he's in there. So with that, it's comforting, you know, it, it makes me happy because you know, I wish he was here, but he don't have to endure a lot of stuff that we have to deal with now. 